Hello YouTube, my name is The Pocust, and we're going to do something really fun today. We're going to be looking at a tier list of all the new Generation 8 Pokemon introduced, all the Galar Pokemon, and also the Galarian forms as well. So we're looking at all the new Pokemon, but we're going to be looking at them in their shiny forms, and comparing them to their original forms, and that is what this tier list is going to be based off of. So, just an important note as we're going to start off, this is not just a what Pokemon I like the most, and which of them I, I've... I really enjoy, uh, but this is uh, the difference in their shinies, so how one shiny goes to the other, and from their shiny to the original, and so on. And so we're going to be looking at the colors, and the designs, and the choices for each colors, and kind of making a tier list out of uh, what I think. Again, this is what I think. Personal opinion, I'd love to hear what you guys are going to think of for the top shinies, uh, what you've got so far. Um, yeah, just a little bit of background. I've kind of got, I'm a little bit of a shiny freak in some sense. I'm not that crazy uh, like some other people, but uh, I've got myself over 80 shinies. I'm just un under 100, uh, including event shinies. And so, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a fair experience shiny hunting uh, and doing all that. And so with the new generation, I thought I'd just take a crack at making a tier list of all the shiny Pokemon and look at what we're dealing with here. So uh, at the time of recording this video, uh, it's been out for just over a week. I uh, pretty much have played it f um, for 40 hours now I'm actually just below 50 so I'm at about 48 hours I've only got one shiny I just got a shiny thievel uh, and so uh, other than that uh, I haven't got any shinies yet I'm still going for the shiny charm first I like to go for that um, so my thievel is actually full odds which is awesome but uh, yeah so let's take a look at this tier list to start off um, just a note uh, the way I'm gonna do this is this top S tier I kind of want to have the top like five shinies I'm gonna try to keep it just to that um, yeah I mean, it's hard to do S, uh, but we've got five tiers to play with here. Um, six tiers, I'm totally uh, blind. Uh, six tiers to play with here. Uh, S is gonna, gonna be reserved for just my top five favorite Chinese and um, what it is. So let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with Grookey. And also, sorry if I uh, mispronounce any of the things wrong. Uh, I It's still a week in, and so I haven't heard a lot of people talk about the names yet. And so we'll figure out what it is. Um, but yeah, so uh, Grookey Shiny is actually pretty nice. I'm a big fan. It's a little subtler, uh, the green, a little bit of the light green, the nose is a little bit more orange and protruded. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm a fan of, of Grookey. We're gonna put him, uh, we're gonna put him B tier. I think B tier is pretty good. Uh, and then Thwacky, uh, Thwacky's yellow is a little bit more, um, a little bit more prominent than I'd wish. Uh, we're going to zoom in actually a little bit so you guys can see these shinies a little bit better. Oh yeah, this is way better. Um, Thwacky, uh, it's a little bit more of a yellow and so I'm not s big fan of it. We're going to go to C, C maybe D. Uh, at the end also we're going to kind of go over and adjust everything. Um, Rillaboom, uh, what do I think of Rillaboom? We're gonna do we're gonna do C right behind Thwacky. Actually, we'll put them in front of Thwacky for now. Um, I li I like the green. It's it's not my absolute favorite, but um, it's not bad. Uh, Score Bunny. Uh, so Score Bunny is the starter I chose. I am always go fire, uh, but uh, I do like the bit of orange rather than the red. So we're gonna also put him in B tier with Grookey, uh, and then we're gonna go into Reboot. Um, Reboot. I actually don't like this form of the gray, and so we're gonna put him in D. Um, I think the gray and the white and the red are just a really weird combo, but on the other hand, I think Cinderace actually does it quite well, I wouldn't say too well, I think a little bit better. So we're going to put Cinderace just above at C here. Um, I think the gray works, um, but the gray works I think better with this kind of orange rather than just the white of uh, that kind of belly. Um, but definitely interesting there. Sobble. Uh, we're going to put, for now at least, top five. Sobble's going to go in S tier. Uh, I love the color here. The the kind of neon -y pink um, is phenomenal and works really well with the, the changing color. So I'm a big fan of, of, thob of swap Sobble. <laughs> Not Sobble. Uh, and then Drizzy. Drizzy. Drizzle? Drizzle? I think it's Drizzle. Uh, we're going we're gonna to put him in B as well uh, with the other. Uh, two starters. Um, I do like the pink and, and blue again, but I think Sobble just does it better. I think it's the eyes that does it for me. Um, yeah, I think it's the eyes. Uh, and then Inteleon, uh, we're actually going to put him in A tier. Uh, I think Inteleon works really well. Uh, you'll hear me talk about this a little bit. Um, like kind of the idea of like a perfect shiny, um, where it's it's quite obvious that it's a shiny um, because of a different color, um, where like Grookey isn't very obvious. Grookey and Cinderace, like they're obvious, but they're not like super, super obvious. If that makes sense. It's not like a Pikachu um, or like a Togekiss or Togetic or something like that. Um, but it's uh, it's really nice and obvious and stands out and the colors look uh, not that bad. So we're going to put Inteleon A. Um, so we're going to move into uh, Squovit. 
and Squovit, we're just going to put it D. Um, Squovit's not that nice of a change. Uh, and then Greedent, we're actually going to move down to E. I'm not a big fan of Greedent. Um, I, I I wanted to put him in my playthrough, my first playthrough, but I actually just didn't straight up. I just did not like it right away. Um, so Greedent uh, down here. I think just this coloring is a little bit better, like this red rather than this kind of tan. Um, and I think Greedent could have been a more fun color. I get that they're going for a different like style of chipmunk, like a different um, kind of feels like a fall chipmunk, but not a big fan. Uh, Rookity, we're gonna put B or A. Uh, I really like the gold around the uh, the the wings, and I kind of wish it would have stayed gold. I kind of wish Corviknight would have actually been Corvusquire's color, um, and or stayed Rookity. Um, so Corvusquire, we're actually gonna put um, A as well. I really like the white. Um, before uh, the game came out, I was actually predicting with my friends uh, what color uh, uh, Corvusquire or Corviknight would be, and I predicted a white. I was hoping it would be like a white kind of um, color, end up being this kind of gray, uh, but Corvusquire got that. Um, and so we're going to put uh, Corvusquire, though, just in B. Um, I do like the, the different color here. Um, maybe we'll move him up later, um, but uh, I think it could have been a little bit better. I think it could have been a little bit more white. Uh, Blipbug, we're going to do D. That didn't change a ton. Um, didn't do much, really. Um, so we're just going to put him at, at D. I think just his, his arms turned a different color. Um, Dotler, I actually do like the change the whole change the purple here, so we're gonna put Dotler at C, uh, and then uh, Ore Beetle is gonna move up to B as well. That's another example of like what I think to be a perfect shiny, um, just an awesome color that kind of goes uh, that goes far away from what it used to be, um, and uh, it's still very noticeable and keeps a nice kind of color palette. Um, so Nicket. Uh, we're gonna put Nick at C. Um, I so my favorite color is actually gray and blue, and or like a navy or kind of like a scion uh, blue. But uh, I really enjoy eh, I really enjoy gray and blue together. But this is kind of just it feels a little off to me. I don't know what it is. Um, and then Thievul, we're gonna also put in C tier. Um, I just think that could have been a little bit better. Um, I love the name Thievul is just is kind of a brilliant play on words there. But um, we're gonna put Thievul in C. Uh, Gossifler. Uh, C or B? What do we think? And let's go C for now. Um, the color are nice. Uh, nice change in color, and actually, what it's changed to uh, is a different flower. Obviously, I don't know what it is exactly, but we're gonna put them C. Uh, Eldegoss, we're gonna put in D. Um, yeah, just not a huge fan of the the pink here. I think it could have been if it was this nice blue uh, around the whole actually cotton part of the of. Eldegoss, I think that would have been awesome. Uh, and Wulu, uh, we're actually going to put Wulu in S for now. Uh, Wulu, I think, I said perfect shiny earlier. I think Wulu is absolutely the idea, is the it, like the perfect shiny uh, because it perfectly inverts the colors. Um, it just It's just a simple invert of colors and it makes it very, very noticeable and stand out. Uh, and it's the perfect, like just the infamous black sheep or the one black sheep. So um, Wulu is going to go in A. Uh, and then double's gonna or Wulu's gonna go in S and double's gonna go in uh, in A. Um, Choodle, uh, a lot of people really don't like Choodle. I've heard. Um, I love Choodle and I kind of love these colors too. It's like a nice. It's a. It's another like fun shiny. So I'm gonna put him in B for now. Uh, and then Dreadnaw uh, is gonna go in A. Um, if you didn't know, this is this is very much a look on Bowser. Um, uh, yeah, if you didn't recognize by now, this is this is essentially Bowser. It's trying to be a Bowser shiny, and so um, you're gonna see a lot of shiny dreadnoughts named Bowser. But um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna move on to Yamper. Uh, Yamper's gonna be an E. I really don't like these faded, and you'll kind of see this uh, this kind of tradition go on with the rest of these shinies. I don't really like the faded look of the shinies, um, where they're kind of just like kind of off. Like you can see all these kind of here, or at least these five here, just kind of like a. A, it just a, like a fade or like a weird off color of what it normally is. Um, Bolt Hunt, I think is a little bit better. It's going to go in D. This, uh, this yellow is kind of like a piss yellow, and it's, I'm not a big fan of that. Um, but yeah. Roly Coley is going to go in C. Uh, we're just going to put him there for now. Uh, I really like the blue. Again, I think the blue is a good contrast for the black. Um, and then Carcoal is going to go here as well. And you know what? We're going to put, um, we're going to put Colossal here as well. Uh, I like all of, I like that color across the color scheme, or like the, across the whole evolution line, and I think it's a good, um, yeah, a good line. I think it stays consistent, so I'm a big fan. Applin. Applin's gonna go in A. I really like the idea of the Granny Smith apple. I'm pretty sure it's a Granny Smith apple. We're gonna do the same for Flaplin uh, and Appleton. 
it's just great. Uh, I love the idea that they just turned everything green and they made it the different apple, obviously, because everyone knows the red apples and the green apples. I actually don't know if there's another type of apple, but everyone just knows the, the red and the green, and that's just the two different styles of apples. And I think they did a great job of just doing that and sticking with that color palette and theme. Uh, Sandaconda, no, this is Silicobra. Uh, Silicobra, again, kind of the faded, uh, weird shiny, so it's going to go here in E. Um, doesn't change a lot. It's a little bit more of a gray rather than like a brown around this area. Uh, but Sandaconda is going to go up to D. Uh, I actually like this is a little bit, I like that this is a little bit more gray because it's a lot more pr predominant than um, Silicobra. But uh, yeah, so it's going to go in D. Uh, next, we've got uh, Cramorant. I think that's how I say it, Cramorant. Um, Cramorant is going to be in C tier. Um, another idea of just a kind of a good shiny where it's very noticeable and very out there. Uh, Cramorant's going to go in C. I'm actually a really big fan of the orange. I think the orange does well for Cramorant and makes him look, uh, like makes him look pretty nice. Uh, next we're going to go do, uh, Aracuda. Aracuda, however you want to say that. And we're going to put him in D. Um, no, no, I'm going to move him up to C. I, I like the purple. The purple's not bad. Um, it really works well with that, I think that white and it's a nice kind of not as faded as these colors, but still kind of prevalent uh, and I think it's there. And so we're going to do the same with uh, Beriscuta and he's going to go up there. Beris yeah, Beriscuta. I think it's how you say it. Beriscuta. That sounds about, that looks about right. Uh, going to go there as well. I like him a little bit more. You know what? We're going to put, um, we're going to put Aracuda down here um, just because I really like the fins of the orange. I think they work a lot better with that purple with the kind of that um, lighter purple than it does. Um, yeah, I just think uh, Beriscuta does it a lot better. So we're going to do that. Toxel. Uh, Toxel's going to go C. I, I like the pink. Um, I also like the pink because it's a baby Pokemon. I also, fun fact, I, I, only when playing the game, I realized it was like an actual baby Pokemon and it's wearing a diaper. I saw it in the, my Pokemon camp and it was crawling on the ground like a baby. And I was like, I I can't believe I didn't recognize that. Um, and I guess it's just the, the pattern or the way it was sitting down. Uh, I just never really recognized that. Uh, Tox. Toxtricity? Toxtricity, that's what we're going to go with. Uh, we're going to put him in D. Um, the pink is nice, uh, but just, it's, yeah, it's a little weird of a, a color palette here. They It kind of works in some areas, and it works in design-wise. Um, I've done a little bit of graphic design, not a lot. I'm not that great at it. You can see with my thumbnails, they're not, like, phenomenal or anything. Uh, but uh, we're going to put Toxtricity here. Okay, the two that I've actually been the most torn on, Sizzlipede and Senescorch. Um, I love, obviously, the blue that I've talked about before, and I love these Pokemon. I think uh, they're awesome. I never used them in my first playthrough, uh, but I think the fire uh, and kind of blue, just like, yeah, I think it looks really cool. Uh, Sizzlipede, we're going to put a B. Um, doesn't change, actually, no, we're going to put C. It doesn't change a ton, um, and it's not super obvious to see other than the back. I kind of wish the front would have changed a little bit on him. Uh, but Senescorch, uh, do, I, do I dare? What else is here? You know what? For now, for now, I'm putting him in S. Just, just bear with me. For now, I'm putting him in S. Um, I, I love fire types. I'm a big fan of the fire types. When I saw Senescorch uh, revealed, I freaking loved him. Or not revealed, I guess leaked. Um, I thought he was awesome. And so I, I am a big fan of the shiny. I'm also a big fan of Larvesta and Larvesta shiny as well. Or not Larvesta, but Larvesta and um, uh, Volcania. Or no, Vol Volcarona. Oh gosh, there's so many Pokemon names. Um, so many for the decks to have, but yeah. Uh, next we're going to be looking at, uh, Clobopus. Clobopus, uh, hmm. We're going to do C. He's a good medium, a uh, good, just neutral shiny, nothing too fancy. Um, but then, uh, Graplocked. That's how I'm going to say it. Graplocked is going to go in B. Um, I really like the white. I'm a big fan of white shinies. Um, Pokemon that weren't white before that turn white. Uh, big, big fan of them. Uh, so, yeah, Grapplock is going to go there. Not too much to say. I like it's kind of the Nacho Libre look here. Um, I just realized that now. Um, yeah, I was, I'm tempted to move him up. We'll see at the end if I want to move anywhere. Uh, move him anywhere. Uh, so, Sinisty, the change from the kind of the uh, blue cup to more of a purple. Again, we're going to do C. I think this kind of tier is just for the Pokemon that change colors a little bit, but aren't too noticeable and the color's not phenomenal um we're gonna put sinisty here and then uh poltygeist uh, is gonna go here as well it's gonna go in c um i would be tempted to put sinisty above poltygeist poltygeist um just a little bit though not not too much to move up a tier uh, but i think just the cup looks a little bit better with kind of the actual pokemon in here um rather than seeing the purple and then the pink contrast or not even contrast how similar they are i think if it was like a totally different color like a 
I don't know, like an orange or a, a green, I think would be kind of cool. But uh, for now, we're going to put him, put him in C. Uh, next, we got ha, uh, Hatina. Uh, Hatina, again, kind of a faded look. Uh, not doesn't change too much, kind of the blue of the hat turns into gray. Uh, so we're going to put Hatina in D. Uh, we're also going to put uh, Hatrim in D, and we're going to put Hatterini in D. Um, they just don't change too much. I, I actually... I actually like that they don't change a ton. Um, I think it kind of goes well with their design. Um, but for now, we're going to put uh, Hatini, or that whole Hatrim line, Hatina, Hatina line. Um, we're going to put it in D. Uh, Impidimp, the first shiny uh, that was known to the game. Uh, the leaker that did the playthrough got a shiny in his playthrough. Uh, so he uh, he's the first one that was revealed, I'm pretty sure. Um, don't fact check me on that. Uh, we're going to move, we're going to move Impidimp up to S for now. Uh, we're, we'll move the other ones down after, but um, Impidimps and S, I, again, I love the white and I love the blue. That's like pretty much my favorite color, this kind of scion, so it's a little bit more um, noticeable than like Roly Coley's here, uh, but I love Impidimp in that color. So uh, we're going to put Impidimp up there, um, and we're going to put Morgrim up here as well in A. Uh, I, I th again, I think this line works really well because it's just very, very opposite of what it used to be, and it's very obviously shiny, uh, and I think the color palette actually works pretty well. Uh, Grim Snarl, the white is is very uh, very off putting. I think a little bit in this. It's just it's kind of strange. I wish the purple would have gone blue. Um, so I guess like if this blue kind of kept and was in the purple, this would easily be I think probably my favorite shiny. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of purple, so we're actually gonna move it down to B tier for now. Um, but yeah, so that's Grim Snarl. Next we got Zigzagoon. Uh, Zigzagoon is an easy A tier for me. Again, you can see this color that I love so much. Uh, this is a very obvious shiny again, one that looks really nice. Um, I think the red and the blue work really well together, uh, in this case at least, and the white. Um, and then so uh, the Zigzagoon and Lanoon are going to go up in A. Uh, and then we're going to put Obstagoon in S tier. Um, so you can see <laughs> these two are very, very similar. Uh, and I really like these colors. You can even see it with Sun of Scorch and kind of the blue here. Um, so you kind of know my opinion on, on Pokemon Chinese and their colors uh, and what I like. But there's, a, yeah, Obstagoon is just phenomenal. I really like the colors. Uh, and it's just one of those like crazy kind of out there shinies. Uh, Meowth, um, Galarian Meowth. Um, we're going to put him C. Uh, again, just kind of a change, a color change that's not too prevalent. Uh, and then Berserker, we're going to put in C as well, or yeah, in C as well. Um, didn't change too much, uh, but it looks pretty nice. Uh, Galarian Ponyta and Galarian Rapidash. Um, Galarian Ponyta is actually going to go in S tier. Um, so we'll do a final five at the end, uh, but for now, Galarian Ponyta. Actually, you know what? I know. I know. I know Wooloo's going to go down. Um, I've, I've already had that in the back of my head. Uh, Wooloo comes over here. Uh, but. I love the idea of the black sheep, and it's brilliant, and I think it's a, a perfect first kind of Route 1 shiny uh, to be going for, um, but Galarian Rapida, or Ponytail just looks so good. Um, again, you can tell my, my color palette tastes and what I enjoy <laughs> in the shiny Pokemon, um, but yeah, Galarian Ponytail, uh, Galarian Rapida is going to go in A, only because I can't have two in S, and I like the uh, the look of Ponytail a little bit better, uh, kind of the more like anime-ish looking sad puppy dog eyes uh, works a lot better, I think, with the colors here, the light color than it does with like a more serious uh, Rapidash. A uh, Glaring Weezing. Um, Glaring Weezing is going to go in C as well. Uh, I'm not a big fan of brown shinies. I think brown shinies are actually the worst looking shinies uh, in general. Um, I think a lot of people give a lot of hate to the green shinies, and I think they're, that's valid for the most part. Uh, but I think the purple looks uh, kind of even, or no, it's not purple, brown uh, looks even worse. Um, there's just not a ton out there, and I think they're just never done well. Uh, which, which, yeah, I, I know no one really likes brown. It's kind of just a, it's kind of a, it's kind of a, for lack of a better word, it's like a poopy color, and so <laughs> people just don't love seeing brown. Um, and I and I like that it's kind of the idea of like a toxic waste, and it's brown in that sense. But yeah, uh, Corsola, Corsola is going to move up into a tier. Um, I actually really like Corsola, um, especially because uh, the kind of dead coral aspect uh, is kind of brought to, it's kind of pushed to the side with the shiny. They're kind of going back to old cor uh, old Corsola uh, and the idea of it just being totally pink. And so I actually really like what they did with Corsola. Um, and uh, Corsola? I don't even know how to... <laughs> no, this is Corsola and the other one's Corsola. I'm, yeah, they're just too similar. Uh, we're going to put uh, Cursula up in A as well. Corsola is an A and Cursula is an A. Um, I actually really like the black, uh, the the middle black face here. Um, 
it compared to the rest of the pink body and then the kind of black stub of the I don't even know what you call this the end the bottom of the shell uh, I guess it's his his legs his or her legs its legs um but uh I, I'm a big fan of this so it's gonna go up there uh Galarian Farfetch'd uh is gonna go in E because it barely changes uh its stomach turns a little bit more tan and it looks trash um in my opinion I hate Chinese that barely change um so I'm not a big fan of uh Farfetch'd and uh, Surfetch is going to go in D. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of yellow. You can kind of see there's not a ton of yellow up here. Um, but uh, the yellow is just, it. it's, yeah, I'm not a big fan of it, but maybe you like it more. Uh, Mr. Mime, uh, Galarian Mr. Mime and Galarian Mr. Rhyme, or not just Galarian, but Mr. Rhyme, uh, are going to be in E tier. Um, because if I showed you these Pokemon, um, just as their splashes normally, would you know they're shiny? Probably not. They're just like a kind of a, a dark fade. It's like someone turned the transparency down a little bit on the Pokemon colors. Um, so that's why they're going to go in E. Um, again, I really don't like these kind of shinies um, that kind of just change a little bit. But yeah. Uh, Galarian Mask uh, is going to go in D. Um, just uh, now we're going to move it up to C. Um, I think it's the green eye that saves it on uh, Galarian Mask. Just makes it look a little bit better. And uh, I like kind of like the, the reddish of the, the runes. Um, and then I, I've yet to learn how to say this guy's name, uh, Runirigris, Runirigris, Runigris, Runirigris, I have not a hot clue, uh, we're gonna put him in C as well, um, I didn't like it at first, but it kind of started to grow on me, um, I actually thought this was the original look for a little while, um, until I kind of caught one and realized there's a lot more faded, so it's a little bit, vin mm, no, I'm gonna move it down to D, um, maybe high D, we'll, we'll see, we'll put it, we'll put it here for now, um, Glarian Stunfisk, we're going to put to D as well. Uh, the, 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 whatever, the footprints turn to a yellow rather than a green, and I just think the green does a lot better look for Stunfisk um, and works well. Next up, we've got Milkree, and I actually really enjoy Milkree. Um, we're going to put uh, it up in B. Um, I, again, it's the white. It's kind of the very much a creamy style. Uh, it changes from like the kind of tannish yellow, or the light yellow, to a very bold kind of white. And so I, I really like uh, Milkree in that sense. Uh, Milkree, but then Alcreamy is going to just go down and see. Uh, I don't like the black, the charcoal kind of like burnt look. Um, it with the red eyes, it actually looks like quite demonic. It looks like uh, it looks like what they would like stereotypically put in like horror movies. Um, just like the, the kind of like the darker face with like a like red eyes. And so I'm not a big fan of um, Al Creamy here, but uh, yeah. Phalanx is going to go down to D as well. This is one that I really wished would have been a bright neon color. Uh, that would have been, I think, a little bit more fun for the Phalanx. Uh, but it's just kind of going with this dark, dull uh, brown. It's not that bad. I I'd put it higher up um, in the list. But uh, yeah, it's going to go here. Uh, Pinchurin is actually going to go up into A. Um, Pinchurin is a super underrated Pokemon. I, I think this is what it should look like. Pinchurin should normally look like this. It shouldn't be that kind of dark blue with like, I think it's like a purple mouth. Um, Pinchurin should should look exactly like this. Um, so that's just my opinion. And I think Pinchurin um, should really be that. We're going to look at Snom now. Uh, Snom actually, I, it looks a lot more obvious here uh, against this white background, the kind of pink and yellow and blue here. And it's kind of all over the place. I'm going to put him in D. Um, D or C, it'd be, it'd be high D. D or low C. Um, we'll change it later. Uh, but <laughs> Snom's going to go there for now. Um, not too great. It kind of looks like Snot. So I think I would nickname him Snot if I got one. Uh, but Frostmouth is going to go into B. I think low B uh, would be where uh, she ends up going. I think the colors look nice. Again, I like the white and I kind of like the uh, the red around. Um, if it was a fire type, that would look even cooler um, because I obviously love fire types. But that's just kind of the... I, the design of the shiny. Um, I like Frostmoth a lot. I uh, had him on my team for my first run through. So yeah, it's gonna go there. Stonejourner is gonna go up in C. Uh, the colors are just inverted here where this kind of gray turns into the darker gray and the lighter gray is the darker gray. I hope that made sense. Um, yeah, the little uh, little stone guy here. Um, I can, the, the name of that uh, monument is escaping me. Stonehenge, here it is. Um, so Stonejourner is here and just kind of a, a nice, good, evil, neutral Pokemon um, shiny. I would say he'd be perfectly in the middle. So we'll just put him here for now. I think he's just perfectly inverted colors that you notice um, very obviously. So everything above is, this is like a 50% good good shiny. So he's going to be our, our neutral middle. Um, Ice Q. 
<laughs> a lot of people don't like Ice Q either. I I actually like Ice Q. I'm a, I'm a big fan. He's gonna be low B tier. Uh, I like Ice Q a lot. I I think he's I think he's really fun. Um, the the face is just so derpy and so dumb and i i love it for that and i love to just shift from the blue to pink um i think it gives it more character so that's that's my opinion on ice cube i think i'm saying that correctly uh next up we've got uh indeedy i think i'm saying that correctly yeah indeedy uh indeedy is gonna go d it'd be high sh middle d tier um indeedy's like not super great uh, but also not phenomenal. So indeed, he's gonna go here. More Piku. More Piku is gonna go low C um, to high D. Uh, I kind of like the idea of it's like uh, almost like Neapolitan ice cream here. If you change the strawberry for like peanut butter, it turns into I guess this isn't. Uh, it doesn't quite work, but um, yeah, I kind of like the idea of the more Piku. It looks. Uh, I think it looks better than the, just the yellow. Um, but yeah, so that's more Piku. Uh, we're gonna go to Qfint now. Uh, Qfint is D tier, um, doesn't change a whole ton, uh, kind of doesn't look super nice, it's kind of a different tint of yellow, it's kind of a strange, I can't even remember what original Qfint looks like, um, but, uh, yeah, Qfint's gonna go D, low D, low to mid D, uh, uh, Cooperaja, I think that's how you're gonna say, Cooperaja is gonna go in E tier, actually, I don't like this kind of green, this dark green, again, the faded, I'm not a big fan of those looks, um, but yeah, Cooperaja is gonna go here. Uh, Dracozolt, Dracozolt. These ones are weird. These ones are really interesting because these are these faded looks. Um, also, precursor, I guess. I really enjoy these shinies. Um, I think they're, or sorry, not these shinies. I enjoy these fossils a lot. I love the idea that they're meant to look um, very, very dumb uh, and very just, <laughs> just stupid. Uh, and I actually really like that they purposely went for a design like that. Um, but because their shinies are faded and they're not just they're not that great. Uh, we're going to put them all in, in D tier, I think. Um, yeah, they're all going to go in D tier for now. That's what I'd say. Duraludon, Duraludon, however you want to say it. Uh, Duraludon's going to go in A tier. Uh, I'm a big fan of Duraludon. Um, the, the chrome, it actually looks a little bit, so it's a little bit more gray rather than the white, and it's kind of a chromed out, uh, and it turns to like fully this like blue on the side and the arms and underneath in the back. Again, the white and blue, you can see that I kind of like those colors together. He'd be high A tier. Um, so Duraludon, I think, is perfect. Um, we're going to do two, <laughs> we're going to go to Darumaka and Darmanitan. I really actually like the green uh, in their eyes here. I think the the blue and the green and the white do really well for uh, Darmanitan and Darmaka. Um, so we're gonna put. Actually, I'm gonna move them up into. I'm gonna move them both into. Uh, I'm not sure where to put Darmanitan. I just don't like the the head. I just don't like the. He just has such a weird face, and I just. I know it's a difference in shiny colors, and it's not supposed to be a look on shiny Pokemon or just the Pokemon itself, but I just. It just looks better in Darmanitan than, wait, who's which? I can't remember which one's which. This is Darmaka, and this is Darm... Ah, I forget it. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> uh, Dreepy. Dreepy's not bad. Dreepy's a, a middle of the road. It doesn't change a ton. Um, actually, no, we're going to put him in D, um, just because the... Uh, D, C, high D. Um, I, this is going to be my most controversial one, I think, uh, because, uh, it, the top just doesn't change a ton, um, and it's not, like, kind of your classic pseudo-legendary look for Shining, where it just is, like, like, Dino, or Dino, however you want to say that, um, Dino kind of does it great, where it turns to, like, a totally different, like, the, the green, and I think it's purple, or green and purple, and then, like, Gibble and Garchomp, and that whole line does it not well, and so I think it's kind of is in the middle, so we're going to put him in D, uh, Draclote, Dr Draclote? Dr Dracloak, Dracloak, <laughs> Dracloak's gonna go uh, in D as well, um, I think Dreepy would be a little bit above Dracloak, um, but then here's where it gets really interesting, uh, Dracapult is gonna go in S tier, uh, Dracapult looks freaking phenomenal, um, the, <laughs> the neon yellow kind of look, it's like a classic like speed kind of racing car kind of color, it kind of looks like a racing stripe almost a little bit, uh, just looks phenomenal, and the red, uh, tail, just the tip of the tail, just is the, the nail in the coffin for how just phenomenal things looks, um, this is like my, more of, more what I'm looking for for like a perfect ideal shiny, so he's gonna go there, uh, Zacian and Zamazenta, so if you guys didn't realize, here's another fun kind of fact for you, um, 
there's a in uh, in design uh, there's two types of color designs there's RGB which is red green blue for video and there's CMYK uh, for kind of print color design just the way that it's all added I'm not gonna go into the whole thing uh, but essentially the color palette works at being cyan magenta and yellow and then black is K um, but uh, so za cyan is za cyan and za magenta is za magenta uh, so that's why their shinies are blue and pink they're cyan and magenta um, which is a super cool thing uh, and for that they're gonna both go into a tier um, I just love the idea that that's what they're going to go with, and, and that's the whole design. Uh, maybe they'd be low A tier here, but I, I really like Zacian and Zamazenta, just for that reason solely. Um, and then Eternatus. Eternatus, we're going to put C, low C to B, or to D. That's where I'd put Eternatus. Just kind of, I wish that would have, I would have loved to see this thing be black. To just be the Rayquaza, the new Gen 8 Rayquaza, um, would have been phenomenal to see this thing fully black, or like a dark red, or or not it is dark red um like a even i don't know may i'm trying to think of uh i can't remember who it is exactly uh but just imagine like a, a, a black kind of like body and then like a really really dark red uh kind of rings and and uh just small looks so this is what we have for a tier list so far um if we just zoom out a little bit uh can we see the full thing um here's our full tier list uh, so we're just going to move stuff around. we got to get rid of uh, of one up here. Uh, so which one I think is the least best of all of these ones, I think would be Impidimp. I think Impidimp would move down. I talked a lot about Impidimp, um, but because it's just stage one, you're not going to be on that stage at the end because hopefully you're going to get the Grim Snarl. Um, I just think it's going to go there. Um, and if I were to order them, if I were to order S tier, we'd put uh, Dracapult here. Uh, we'd put Galarian Ponyta, Sobble, uh, Obstagoon, and then Senna Scorch. So that's my ordered for S tier. Um, we would put, I think we'd put Impidimp up first in A. Looking across here, Wooloo would be up here too. This isn't going to be an exact science here. Um, Duraludon would be up here. I'm a big fan of the Duraludon. Morgrim, Zigzagoon, Linoon would be here. Um, I like Cursula and Corsola. Um, a lot. Um, Glaring Rapidash. I think out of all these, I just like the original Applin would probably be best. Uh, I like uh, Rookadee more than uh, Corvus Squire, so I think he'd be there. Um, in terms of this, I'd probably put Zamazenta here, and then maybe Zigzagoon, uh, Morgrim, uh, Zacian, uh, and then from Zacian, maybe Corsola, maybe Cursula. Uh, yeah, I'd probably put Corsola, Corsola, Dreadnought. We'll put Dreadnought right in front. Um, and then other than that, I think that's a pretty good just baseline. Maybe put Por Corvus Squire at the end of A. Um, yeah, that's what I'd put for... Let's, let's move him up here in between the two. Uh, why not? B tier, uh, anything that wants to go up or down, do I think? You know what? Looking at Ice Q some more, I think we're going to put Ice Q down. Oh, it also makes this look a lot better. Um, can I move, can I zoom in a little bit more? I can, look at that. It's perfectly planned. Um, yeah, we're going to move Ice Q down, I think. Ice Q is not that phenomenal. Is there anyone else that I'd move down? Maybe Score Bunny. Maybe Corviknight. Um, my favorite one of B tier. Uh, more than I look at it, the Nacho Libre Griplocked. I think would probably take it for number one, uh, and then Drizzle would be here. Uh, who else? I th I like Orbeetle a lot. I like Orbeetle. Um, I, th I think Score Bunny's better than Grookey, um, but only by a little bit because Grookey's kind of rest of the evolutions are not bad, and I think Score Bunnies are a little bit worse um, than Rillaboom. So we're gonna put him there. I I really like Choodle, so I Choodle would go here. I think we're gonna put Grim Snarl here, and that's probably good for B. Okay, the C, the big one here. I think let's put uh, who would be the best of C. I'm gonna put Ice Q here just because I like Ice Q a lot. Let's put Roly Coley, Carcol, and Colossal that line here. And the more I'm looking at Perserker, I'm actually I'm, I kind of like Perserkers here. Um, we're gonna put Ker Perserker up here. Cramorot, Cramorant, however you say that's gonna go here. I think Rillaboom is maybe next, uh, and then Thwacky could probably go down, Nicket and Thievul is going to go here, uh, and the rest I think is probably fine, I don't need to worry about it too much, 
Uh, in terms of D, let's go backwards. What are the worst, I think, in D? I think uh, Squovit would be bad. Um, I don't like Eldegoss that much. Um, Blipug is also maybe towards the end here. Uh, and Stunfisk, I think, would be towards the end. So that would be it. Uh, and the very, very bottom shinies. Um, I'm tempted to put Farfetch'd at the very bottom just because it doesn't change at all. Uh, Cooperage, I think, would be the best of this. Um, Yamper just is weird. I think Silicobra um, would be right here. I, I do like it a little bit. It's not too bad because it's more of like a camo look. Um, so actually, no, it's going to go here. And I think this is it. I think this is our tier list. This is it. Um, our final look at the tier list of what we have for the shiny Pokemon in Gen 8. Just the new ones. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, you can leave a like, uh, subscribe. Maybe I'll do some more content. I haven't posted anything in years. So if you guys really like it, let me know and uh, I'll do some more stuff. But uh, this has been The Pokest and I will see you guys in another video.